And when it comes to beautiful arrangements, there's a floral designer that loves to create and loves to teach. We've got Ashley Castleman here from Twigs with some ideas for creating really fun tablescapes. Welcome, glad you're here. Thank you for having me. Um, throughout the year, you all host events at Twigs, demonstrations, even tree tours, things like that on your site. People are really interested to learn your ways. People really wanna know how to make things beautiful, right? Don't they? Absolutely, we are so grateful that's the case. Yeah, there's an interest and, and they love all the pictures. They love everything. You're gonna lay out, we've got the elements in front of us for arranging a jovial, whimsical look for our table. Mm -hmm. You say start with uh, the, the table setting. Absolutely, so you want to establish your color palette with your base linens. Mm -hmm. So that could be a tablecloth. In this case, it is our runner. And we've got these really wonderful um, patterned paper placemats. Oh, those are cute. They are, and disposable, so easy to clean up after. Something you want to keep in mind here is if you are matching, or excuse me, if you're working with two different patterns, which we love to do, you want a large pattern and mm -hmm. a fine pattern. That way it doesn't make your tablescape too busy. Okay, so don't, when you combine patterns, one's mm -hmm. big, one's small, and that works. So exactly. we're doing that so far. Absolutely. So um, the next element that we really mm -hmm. want to include in any table is going to be a really striking centerpiece. So we want to give that table depth. The way that we're going to do that is by varying the height of your centerpiece. So of course here I'm doing that with a bottle brush tree, but that gives it almost like a, a pop-up book effect okay. on your table. And you like the rule, odd numbers. You you would want to decorate in threes is perfect for Absolutely. This. So depending on your table size, three, five, you always want to have an odd number just to keep that balance. And I'm going to carry that over with the candles as well. Wonderful. So you get a few tall things in the back, or obviously in the center of the table. We're mm -hmm. building more towards a camera's view. But, but some tall things in the middle really give a, a focal point to everybody gathered around the table. Certainly. And of course, these bottle brush trees are really fun. But nice. you can use anything that you have in your house as well. So if you have a really beautiful cake riser, that's going to help you fluctuate okay. um, items down the center of your table. So even a gingerbread house or a really beautiful cake that you might have um, if you're a baker, just Beautiful. working that into your table is really lovely way to vary that height. Okay, so we've, we've got some height going in and now it looks like we're having, we've got some colors, berries. Absolutely, so what I have here is a silk garland. So we're gonna create some movement and consistency down that table. So it is as easy as just weaving that. If you wanna take that one end, we'll just weave it on through here. Could not be easier. Of course, we are working with silk here, but if you don't have this or don't want to purchase it, you can oh. just go out to your yard, clip some evergreen, clip some magnolia, whatever you have, and just kind of give your table movement. That's um, beautiful. In the center. And it fills in the spots in between here. So now you've got a you've got the nice base of, of all things tall. And then you, you start to bring out what? So um, trend that we're seeing this year, I'm gonna hand you a glass Thank here, you very much. is um, pops of color in the glassware. Really so we love to work this in here. Instead of your plateware and your dishware disappearing, it's adding more impact. So I'm gonna hand you another glass. And it's easy glass. to find some of these pieces. Just think about things with color and, and it just makes the table a lot more festive than absolutely, your normal. Absolutely, absolutely. So um, the next thing that we're gonna add in here would be a charger. So I'm gonna hand you one. We're gonna do two kind of different looks here. So of course you've got your really beautiful gold charger and this one is going to be a nice pop of color. So this is gonna be the more jovial look. Yours is gonna be the more elevated look. Nice. Um, so next we are going to add in and just kind of a basic plate here. I'm gonna hand you that. So we have a lot going on in the table, so you definitely yeah. want to have a more neutral plate there. Just give the eyes kind of a little bit of a, a beat um, on that and table. And this is a cute touch too. You've, you've got a little name plate Absolutely. right in a bell. Absolutely. Makes, makes the hosting <laughs> kind of fun. And so we are pulling that metallic through in that bell as well. So I'm gonna stack your, um, your plateware here. Another thing that we love to do is we love to work in a decorative accent plate. It's a lot more non-committal than buying an entire set of plateware. So you can just buy six or eight, depending on how many yeah. people and you, you can have. Shop for these things wherever you shop. Absolutely. You don't have to drop a lot of money buying anything real fancy. It's just gonna have some pops of color. Absolutely. So that is kind of a fun little way um, to just dress up your table there. Um, something else that we really love to do instead of like a Christmas cracker is maybe a little hand painted ornament for your oh, I love um, that. Yeah, your guests to take with them. They have something to put on their tree that uh -huh. is unique to your day and what you're offering your guests so and it's your personality that comes out obviously the items you have around that you could incorporate in your table you just don't want to limit yourself and think that a table setting is 
knives, forks, plates, Absolutely. set them down. You do something a little more fun. Anything Absolutely. else, uh, you know, when you talk about brightening, brightening our homes for this season, a lot of reasons we want to brighten our homes in a lot of different ways. What do you tell people for general advice? Sure. So we want everybody to take these basic principles mm -hmm. that we are trying to teach and make it their own. So, uh, you know, I did a Canadian tree this year in my home and in the store just because I'm Canadian. So we want you to make it unique to you. And that feels special when people come in and see how you've set up for the holidays. Twigs have been part of a lot of people's milestones for the past 30 plus years. And uh, so you're always full of good advice and inspiration. Ashley, we appreciate it. This is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You can find Twigs at 1100 Woods Crossing Road in Greenville. They're open Monday through Saturday from 9 to 5.